Um, the idea was to expand a bit more and do more um, positional sparring kind of drilling, whatever you call it. But how many people have been to, like, went to the earlier Lekla, like Clash with Aaron? Most. Or Charles Harriet class yesterday? So, like, ha, okay, okay. Um, because I only mentioned it because those classes were very um, game based with doing a lot. So, it might be better to maybe just go traditional you know, and do it step by step. Um, is anyone here comfortable in 50 50? Just comfortable. You don't need to be like great at thank you. Can I use you? <laughs> so um, the position we if I actually took this. Just a recap from my previous class. I used the single leg uh can't even do it. The single leg X and the outside Ashi as a reference point to the idea of standing up. And it's Aaron, right? Yeah, he, he, he did the same kind of class, very similar, just doing more uh, drilling specific things less. So I wanted to move on then to 50-50 because it's very close to single leg X or outside Ashi because it's just a matter of moving the leg across. So often when people are standing up or moving, it can be very easy to bring it over either way and the standing mechanics are very similar as the one that we did before if for example we go to saddle it becomes a little bit different just because he now has more control over the secondary leg it's not that um the standing up is like totally different there's just more things we need to deal with so i think this one's a bit easier. Just because this leg, there there aren't a lot of attacks from 50-50 on this leg, like there are. Um, but it's a little bit safer, so you can do more mistakes. So, just uh, back and forth, get the feel. Stand up from here in the same way we did before. You bring your leg underneath you, you put weight on the leg, you build up to a knee, you can base on the hands if you need. And then we stand up, all in good base. If, again, you're comfortable, he can be heavy on the hip. He can move a little bit, have some resistance, but just so I can also see where you're at, just stand up, up, up from here with no, um, with no hin hindrances. All right, so weight on the leg, build up the base in good stability. If you're wobbling too much, just overcompensate on the balance for now. All right, back and forth, go. So, standing up here is quite good. Also, it's the exact opposite way if I were to attack. Like this is 50-50, we both have equal chances. If I start facing, this is kind of the attacking mode. If you play Yukio, you know, it's the attacking mode. And then when I face away, this is more of a defensive. Like, sure, you might like uh, hunt for the leg and, and you could probably do attacks here, but when I'm facing away, I'm kind of, um, I'm pretty much abandoning the leg lock battle, at least for now, while I'm building a base, then I maybe get counterattacks, whatever. Um, but when I face away, it's I'm very safe here for now. When I start building up to a knee, the problem that can occur is that people start to invert underneath you. Can you do you know how to invert? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Build up here, they roll you over. And we end up here. Now my heel is, is exposed. His leg here pins my knee. And now he can break my knee. Okay. 
and it's the same when we stand all the way up. It's, it's, it's one of the best counters when someone starts to raising up, it's going underneath. So, now when you stand up, this is the threat that I want you to think, think about. It's fine if you're not the best at inverting under, just think about putting your head, everything underneath, and then you go, you go, you go, he's using his hands, everything, yes. So now when I stand up, I'm going to prevent this by gripping the um, knee, hands, uh, see if it makes a difference how you build up the base. Just, this is like the only threat that he's going to do. Just really focus on going underneath. And then after I've stood all the way up, he can like try a little, a little bit more. And if you can escape through, that's fine. But just get used to standing up when someone is constantly trying to invert underneath you. All right? Okay, go. And just go back and forth. That's how you do it. <laughs> Any questions or thoughts, pointers? <coughs> Did you, for those of you who were having success, were you aware of what your secondary leg was doing? And this is kind of a reference to Charles Harriet's quote. From yesterday. <clears throat> when I'm here, how I stand up is very important. So I can either just raise myself up or I can kind of step. And then again, I, I can go even further back. When we start to balance, when someone is trying to uh, sweep us down, this is the leg that we're readjusting our base with. And if I step up maybe a bit too close and then it starts to work and he grabs my secondary leg, this is bad. Because now I can't go uh, catch, catch my balance with his leg. So when I stand up, I try to go sort of for the middle. I'm not doing a heavy back step. I'm also not bringing it towards his head. This will change how he reacts. So now, as well as being able to invert, invert underneath me, he can try to kick me back down to my other hip. So now we have two directions to go. So if I stand up and I go too far back, he simply just tilts his hips slightly and then the same here I step too close he just grabs on ah, this is like fucking horrible um, so if you get swept if you get caught try to see where this leg is just understand why it happened the person can, if it's always, if he's always catching your leg, mention it, like we work <clears> together. <throat> Just focus on this, like in particular, in particular. All right. Okay. Go. <laughs> A few reminders from my um, first class. Try at all times to have good weight into the legs. Sometimes you were moving, you maybe fell to the hip, and this leg started to race. Then that's the immediate cue to switch it up. Like I want my hips elevated on the ground because that's what put weight um, like into my leg. This is like, of course, not good but it might be better for a moment to raise the hips just to put the weight in 
and then build up the base. Just, just be wary of it because once this leg becomes light, my hip on the ground and this leg up, he can move it, he can bend it, he can go to... Um... Do you use a lot of tombstone in 50-50? I'm not sure, but you have a bunch of grips to control the leg. Um, so... Also... Some of you did a good job of standing up and then you kind of went here. This is again very, um, you're very wobbly when your hips kind of come uh, over your hips. If he still has a very good connection on your, uh, on your hip. So if you stand up, that's fine. But then you have to start to disentangle the leg. So as a um, intermediate position or waiting, posi pos blah, blah, waiting position, where you're kind of like, he's still balancing, you're still, still fighting. Try keeping your chest maybe down. It's not wrong to come up, but this is kind of where I want to be. Because this is also preventing the inversion, which is, in my opinion, worse than him going to the back. So, just as you can use this grip, you can kind of block it all the way over here as well. And you see kind of how I have to, it's kind of awkward for me to keep, keep going. Um, but this is still what's keeping him from going all the way underneath and here. It, what, I wasn't going to like show it, but it's a good example of I kept going, he tried to invert, and he kind of folded himself, which is bad for him. It just happened, so I mentioned it, but... Think about this. This is like a good, um, good balance position. It's kind of intermediate. I can move. My hands can still fight his hands. I can even <clears throat> start to uh, prep this, so... Now we just add on disentangling the legs, which is what we did in the first class. So it's very similar to the outside Asi position. This leg is just on the other side, which means the inverts are a little bit more relevant. But it's still the same where I try to disentangle the legs, try to bring them over, step close and simply push. Just figure out what works for you, which method. If you start to, if it may be um, you're kind of becoming here and it starts to leap a bit, and this kind of situation happens where it's kind of awkward, you can choose to play from here, but it might just be better to stop and reset just to focus on the step, static part. But this is like, this can happen. All right, is everyone with me? Yeah. Any question? Yeah. Uh, do you need to worry about like him uh, sticking, uh, releasing his left leg and then sticking it to go like towards the back? Yeah, yeah. So he can either go underneath or towards towards the back. So when you stand here, do you mean he lets go? Yeah. I start yeah. going crap right. Yeah, right. yeah. So this is again, do you see how he grabbed this leg here? This is bad. So as soon as, if you go back, we're kind of here, we start to stand up, and I feel that he's letting go and going back. This is where I'm going to have to start pulling out. Because when he goes back, he's releasing the grip, so either I try to bring this leg away, if he cuts too, too far back, I'm going to have to kind of like start undressing him in that way. But it's a good question here. So please go either back, or forward and kind of see what happens. Mm. All right? Yes. Okay, go. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it's hard standing up over and over again, so definitely pace yourself. Um, 
you don't need to just because we're in the drilling section you don't need to spam it just the entire 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 tunnel curve you can rest if, if you need um i like that i saw a lot of just disengagement so when you were standing up the person was working you got your grips and you just kick the leg out which is great it's um, in in the context of just getting out of out of the leg locks and purely defensive it's a, it, it's a great way you're you're able to regain top position it's like um you most most of you had good frames when you did it so it wasn't very easy to kind of wrestle up to follow, follow you so that was very nice um i think i just want to show one more grip of new things my partner And this is just the um, the Craig Jones grip. It's the when you start to go underneath and cut the opposite hip. So this is what he teaches in his um, DVD. I can't remember. Is like get a, get get off my legs, and it serves a similar purpose as to stop the inversion but it also just creates a very good grip on his hip, which allows me to kind of control his movements. So I go, I'm going with, I'm going underneath my leg and reaching and cutting the far side hip. So when I stand up here, this is a very good grip. He can't really invert. Because just as I am, uh, just as before, with either cupping it here or putting the elbow all the way over. Now I'm just here. I'm completely locking this leg in. Now again, if it tries to go to the back, it's still. It's not easy for for him. If I just literally, it just go go go. I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's it's a, just just to hold is a very annoying grip. And especially with crack, it works so well for him because he has a very long arms and he just fucking reaches all the way through. So I go. I grab, I stand. Uh, you don't need to hold it the entire time. If this is not something you want to play, you could kind of just hold it here and then go back to the um, raising up and dealing with the legs. He teaches it also just as a grip to pull the hips so he can grab <laughs> and pull it this way because now it's completely uh, over exaggerating the um, uh, the invert so it's here and it's just like crossing him all the way back it's not my preferred way it's not something that i'm particularly adapt at but it's a, it, it's a great grip also just if you have a lot of trouble with this leg it's just always going in when you're trying to stand up just using the grip to help you get to this uh, section of it and then we go from there that's fine that's usually what I do um, but if you have longer hands you feel comfortable here you can definitely play this game it's a little bit more maybe, maybe not a counter attack but it's, it's a little bit more in that general area have you seen this grip before? No. Oh. So, optional, just if you want. It's a nice grip, so you can play around with it. So, inward, come to the back, 50. Any particular problems that you're running into? Any particular, yes? I think I'm 
a couple of times where one player would like, uh, sorry, the bottom player in this case would abandon into like an X card, and then uh, I'm not sure how I would deal with that like this. So you were standing up. Yeah. Exactly. So you stand up and you start to gain distance, and then that back leg they just. What? Shoot forward. What do you mean gain distance? Like yeah, going yeah. that way. Yeah, and they just reposition into an X guard and they go for like some sweeps or some different attacks. Okay, so yeah, exactly. When you feel like, if you go for that, so like, uh, just fifty, just fifty. Not just fifty, yeah, it's not not fifty, fifty, right, fifty, 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 fifty. Yes. <laughs> so when you're here <laughs> and you're holding, and you start to feel that he's um, like starting to reach, yeah. Just you have to you have to straight feel. Straight. You have to deal with this first. If it's very long and you start to go, maybe go closer mm. where you can start to grab and go here. Like when you're spreading face, it, it, it works better mm. because it's extending you that way. So maybe step closer and then deal with the grip. Um, yeah, I think this is like the most important one, mm. like dealing with this one early and then just go into disentangling. Once you're here and he gets the extension that way, it gets hard. So maybe worst case, you go back down on the knee, start to face him and work from there. And when standing, it's disentangling the legs, starting with the one that's <coughs> doing the cross. Super. That's right. Right. Anything else? So, Play with the Crack Jones grip just to kind of get a feel, feel for it. If you're, um, you can go over the whole scenario again, building the base, working on either forward or backwards, whatever was um, more troubling for you. If you want, you can start putting more submission attacks on. So if you're comfortable with a standing up, you're get, getting out, he can start to threaten it get the hold, put the pressure without going full exit. Um, and if you have questions, just ask. So I think at this point, it's more just keep doing what we're doing. If specific things come up, ask, we can work on it together or just partner by partner. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. Okay, go. <laughs> But everyone is getting arm part from it, so I I I mentioned it kind of casually because again maybe I'm just kind of in of a bubble, but I thought everyone kind of knew it, so. That might have just been my, uh, my, my mistake. So, when you reach for it, you can't really reach for it if he's fit. You can go down your elbow. Like, this is a bad place to reach for it. His knee is kind of in front of me. Now I'm kind of reaching. My hand is on top of his hip. It's like right on top. And there's pressure on my elbow. Like, this is bad. So, uh, when you do it, you have to make sure you're in front of this leg here. The knee is kind of facing up, but also there's a lot of space here. If my ankle is close to his hip, there's more pressure when I go in. If I push it here, there's more space for my hand. So now when I reach, I can go all the way over and kind of reach over his hip in like a good scoot grip. Now this is fine. Now I can start to stand up and I have a very good grip here. Like there's no pressure on the elbow. If his knee is here, this knee is here. Now this becomes a very hard. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just like, yeah, it, it was probably my, <laughs> my mistake to show it in in the context but it it's a nice grip just maybe don't spend too much time on it but again just focus on if you really want to do it reaching all of the way over the hip all right okay go thank you
be long enough, like, one yeah, time. Yeah, if it's not too short, it might be better. Just like, yes, it's So, there's a lot of standing up. <sighs> Any questions that I haven't answered? Or, like, that, that I wasn't helping you with? What happens when you develop this pressure? It breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Before you stand up. Show me, like, what do you mean? So this, if he's brushing here too much. Oh, do you mean like you can't physically go go there? Yeah, it's it's almost after turning. Yeah. 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 Okay. Can I? Have it. Mm -hmm. So it's in the air and it's a very strong um, like rotation this way. If he's just really committing to this way and I go. It might be a very hard battle just to go that way. Um, so maybe try kicking straight. So I, I can use my hands to kind of help, help, help me as well. But I'm not as much going this way as I'm doing like a karate leg with this one here. If my leg is bent and you can go to charge. And it's kind of a battle of just pushing away. It's hard. You can use the hands, of course, to help. But what I'm mainly doing is I'm trying to put weight onto the leg. So I'm pushing through this way. Again, it's not, of course, easy. I might need to put this way back. But if you just go all the way right here, maybe I just lock it and add the weight. Like it's just too much. I try to go underneath and grab the legs. If I really want to go, then fight it. But I think what I would personally do is try to use my hands kind of to help the uh, to help the rotation. But I'm mainly fo focusing on pushing the leg through and getting weight on it. It's not really that I'm going away. It's just I want to put weight on the leg. Uh, and I mentioned like in the last in the previous class this grip as well. I'm not as much of a fan of it in 50-50, just because it's harder to put weight on it and they can kind of more easily elevate my leg. So usually in 50-50, I'm extending. So it's the same pressure of just standing up or if I'm trying to bring him to the opposite side here. All right, does that answer you? Yeah. yeah. How would you stand up over here? Just normally or? Yeah, yeah. Like in here, I'm ho holding and I just raise my knee up in this. Like now I feel like I'm a little bit more compromised this, this way. So I hold and I readjust. Now I'm like fine. But I'm still holding this, this one. All right. Any other questions? No. Okay, then I think that's it for me. Um, please tell me what you think of having like two classes if you intended both. It's like, um, it's my first time doing two. So I was like experimental of how to best do it for this camp. But if you have any feedback, please provide me. Yeah. All right, well, thank you.